Lucas, my brother just called me, and he said he found the vampire who turned you. Do you want to go there with me? See the guy? Nope, I'm not interested. Plus, if I go, you'll leave me there. Jesus, Lucas, see that? Right there. That's why you look like a lost puppy. But puppies are cute. I love dogs. They are not. They remind me of werewolves, and I don't like them. But you like me and I'm a puppy. Who told you I like you? Me. You never saw a werewolf, that's why. I'm leaving. So, who's he? It was so long since I saw him I forgot who he was. He's usually nice. But apparently he fell in love with someone. And got dumped because his lover discovered he's a vampire. He likes to tell his story as it seems. Is he trapped inside? Yes. Since he's old I had to put more garlic inside. Yikes. You did it yourself. Gross. Of course not. I compelled someone to put it inside. I'm not dumb, brother. But I think it's funny how you never cared about these vampire business. And when I mentioned Lucas's maker is here. You came in a few minutes later. I'm not following this stupid mind of yours. I think you are. Enlighten me. For fuck's sake Klaus. You like him. Not you two. This kind of emotions are for humans. You think I'm human, because I love Victoria, and my children. I even love you, you dumbass. Cute. Can I come inside and talk to him? Sure. I'll be outside waiting for you. So you're the guy who turned Lucas, huh? My brother forgot to mention you're just like Caleb. Are you related to him somehow? I don't even know him, but everyone tells me I look like him. So. Why did you do that? It's a long story, and I'm sure you brother filled you in. You have better things to do. My brother is keeping you here until he thinks you've earned his respect again. And if you repeat it he'll kill you. I would have killed you. You're so nice huh? Well, you're right. I don't have anything better to do, so. I've always liked to sleep around, nothing serious. Until I met Simon. Of course. Are you going to interrupt my story? Probably, but go on. Well. It started casually, but we kept finding each other, randomly. I didn't believe in fate until I met him. How can you stumble into someone so many times if it's not fate, right? We had an amazing chemistry, but I never told him I was a vampire. You never fed on him. The first night I did, but I erased this part of his memory, of course. I always feed on my casual dates, but I forced them to forget about the drink blood thing. Your brother thought me that. Well, and about the turning random people into vampires. I'll get there. Let me finish my story, anyway. At some point, we saw each other almost every day. I wanted to tell him about it, but he's kind and good. I was afraid on how he might react. I cooked for him. He always said I didn't eat enough. And that's why I'm skinny. And then one day, I had to tell him. I was madly in love with him. It was about time. Madly in love, haha. <laughs> These human feelings are annoying. I can't argue on that. They are. But what does this have to do with the other people? Stop interrupting me. So, one day, he went to watch a movie. We were happy and having fun. I'll never forget that day, his smile and his laugh. After the movie, I gathered the courage to tell him about who I was. He wasn't happy at all. He told me to fuck myself. Okay, he dumped you, and then what? That's when I got angry and started to turn people into vampires. Any new romantic interest he got, I was there and turned them. So, Lucas is one of them. I don't know their names, I didn't ask. I just turned them. I was in a bad place okay. I saw him flirting with someone I just snapped. You know, you're a handsome man, it's a shame you're this emotional. I'm not this emotional, I just fell in love. Well, good luck to you. Living here until you gather all your shit. Vlad, I'm ready to leave now. I can't stand this man and garlic anymore. Take off your clothes. Oh, hello to you too, Klaus. I'm serious. Take your clothes off. No, what happened there? You know what? Never mind. When Klaus was about to leave the room, Lucas hugged him. What are you doing? I don't know. I thought you might need a hug. I don't need a hug. I told you what I just needed, and you said no. Lucas kissed him. You're so annoying, Lucas. You know that? Uh-huh. But you like me? Oh, shut up. And in the end, he actually made Lucas take his clothes off.